What's up guys, Stark here. In today's character spotlight, we are taking a look at Kiyohime. So I'm going to throw her pictures on the screen right now. I do really enjoy this character's artwork, especially the third ascension. I just like the color scheme. I wish the fourth ascension would have the same color scheme, but it's still really nice for a max ascension picture. Anyway, she is a berserker type, so she will be effective against pretty much all the other types. But she will take double damage from them as well. So you do have to be careful for that. And uh, she only goes up to level 70. And she's a little bit on the weaker side here with 6,644 attack and 9,166 HP. Uh, it is it is pretty lower on the attack stats. But she is a Berserker. So she will be doing inherently more damage. Which is nice. And you know. Her Noble Phantasm is pretty strong as well. I really don't like her skill set for her though. Well, we'll talk about that in just a little bit here. So you do get Kiyohime from beating the uh, first stage in the story. I believe it's Orleans. So you will get her for free just by completing the entire story area, which is nice. You know, it's always good that they give you some decent characters. I definitely think she's in that category of being decent to pretty good. But like I said, though, her skills aren't really that amazing. Um, but here they are. First skill is going to be called Morph C, and this will increase her defense for three turns, which is pretty good. A Berserker with a defense increase skill is always nice, makes them a little bit harder to kill. But her second skill is where I kind of scratch my head. Now it's going to be called Stalking B, which decreases an enemy's defense for three turns, but it will also increase their attack for three turns. Um, and this is where it's a little weird. I guess at the higher levels, it balances out because you actually lower their defense more than their attack increases by but at the early levels it's not that even but I mean I guess it is a fair trade-off I don't know it's just not a skill I'd probably use very often because of that increase the attack of the enemy for three turns so I don't know not a huge fan of that skill but her final skill is called Flame Colored Kiss A, which will remove debuffs and increase Buster Card effectiveness for one turn. And this is pretty good. She is a Berserker, so she will have a lot of Buster Cards. So this is really nice to use. So her first and third skill are really good. The second one's a little iffy. I imagine you'd use it if you're like ready to just kill out the enemy. And then the attack gain won't matter. But it's not something you're going to use too often. So moving on here to her Ascension and Skill Enhancement Materials. I'm going to throw them up. She needs a bunch of different little things here. So she needs the Lanterns, the Dragon Fangs, and the Bones, as well as the Scales. So you're going to do a bit of farming to get these items. I'm pretty sure they don't all drop on the same quest, so you're going to have to split it up a little bit. And then for her Skill Enhancement Materials, she needs much of the same, except she also needs some Seeds. Honestly, I wouldn't really bother leveling up her skills at this point. They're really not that great. Not worth the, the EX or the, the items you need. I keep calling them EXP items, but they're not. Uh, it's just not really worth it, in my opinion, to level up her skills. Unless you really have nothing else to, to use. I don't know. Not something I'm going to focus on. So now for her craft essence here, it's going to unlock the Scorching Embrace. Which will increase Noble Phantasm damage by 30%. And has a 30% chance to inflict 500 damage of burn for 5 turns each time you attack. And this is really nice. Because every time you attack you have that chance of inflicting burn for 5 turns. And she's kind of centered around burn. So you know having that little dot damage is always really nice. I know it's 500 but if you can stack it and maybe combo it with other status effects. You, you can really do some serious damage each turn to some of these enemies. And I know right now it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal because most of the enemies you can clear in one or two turns. But as the game progresses and there's harder content, you're not going to be killing these enemies so quickly and you're going to need stuff like this in order to clear the content. So maybe in the future this will be a really nice craft essence to use. So while we're on the subject of burn here, let's go ahead and talk about her command cards and Noble Phantasm. So she does have one quick, one art, 
and three Buster cards, which is pretty standard for Berserkers. And her Noble Phantasm is also going to be Buster, which deals heavy damage to all enemies. And then for the Overcharge, you're going to have a medium chance to stun for one turn and inflict burn for 10 turns to all enemies. So this is really nice. Uh, of course, the drawback here is that you need to overcharge for the burn and the stun. But that's really not that hard to actually pull off. I know I haven't really talked about the overcharge stuff at all in any of these videos, except for this one really. But you do get her for free, and she's a 3 star, so pulling her shouldn't be that difficult. And at worst comes to worst, you just put her second in your chain with another Noble Phantasm, and you can get the, the other effects anyway. So it's not that hard to pull it off. Should be really easy, especially for this character. But you definitely want those effects. I mean, she still does a ton of damage, so if you think you can kill the enemies without using overcharge, then go for it. But if you do need that burn or the stun, you know, definitely want to try and, and do an overcharge for her. So now for some of the craft essences you can use. Uh, obviously, because of the overcharge and stuff, you want to use Kaleidoscope to start with at least 100 or 80 percent maybe maximum 100 percent if you have it maxed out and then you could use a couple other like skills to increase noble phantasm to overcharge her but you could also use the verdant sound of destruction for the 15 percent increase or you could use limit zero over for the 25 percent increase or if you have a craft essence unlocked you'd be able to use that for the chance of burn damage and increased damage for noble phantasms So that's going to wrap up this video here. Tomorrow I will be doing Romulus. So I'm going to leave you guys here with Kiyohime's Noble Phantasm. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.